How's it guys? It is another cold day out here in Africa, but thankfully I have this rechargeable hot water bottle, but not so thankfully. We don't have electricity for some reason. Um, I think it's the whole block. I will have to double check, but I'll find out now when I go out because our gate has an electric buzzer. But I'm irritated that our electricity is out and we didn't get any notices or anything. Classic. So I'm gonna go meet up with Sav and we're just gonna get a little coffee, maybe some lunch, just share an early lunch. Yeah, because I'm not seeing her tonight because I'm going to a friend's birthday. More on that later. Fetch Sav and we're coming to this place called the Loading Bay. We got some chicken, we got some chips, uh, we got some garlic, aioli, aioli. You get enough lemon on your phone there. Yeah. <laughs> Check out all the doggos in the dog hotel. <coughs> Excuse me. Oop. Just busy cancelling my softened contract. Chatting to a robot here. Press one for cancellation. Ooh. Your call may be recorded. Please stay on the line at the end of your call to evaluate the level of service you received. Sonia said, look at the snow on the mountains. That's why it's so cold. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, somebody put snow on the mountains, so now the whole city is cold. God it's damn it. It's air blowing from the oh. snow. <laughs> I was busy editing the vlog, and Sonia's like, come look at the snow. I was like, what? Sunday. I'm at Sav's place if you don't recognize it. We are making Kleinsky's bagels with an olive and sun-dried tomato schmear. So Kleinsky's is this place uh, on Seapoint Main Road. They're famous for their bagels and we went there yesterday and we got some bagels. These are only six rand each which is surprisingly good and then we got some of the schmear that they do as well. Sun-dried tomato and olive schmear which is like a cream cheese yeah? Mm. Morning. There we go. We're going to do some bacon with that, a cup of tea, and there we have it. Bit of an unorthodox technique. Bacon on schmear on bagel. The bagels were toasted as well in the toaster. Yamos! Going to the Greek island. The Greek island of Yamos. This is so good. If you guys ever come to Cape Town, you can get this at Kleinsky's, but they do it with a lamb bacon, which is Sav's favorite thing in the world. I never really used to eat bagels because I found that they were tougher than just like bread. But one of the first times that I properly appreciated and enjoyed a bagel was, some of you guys will know this, at Tim Hortons in Canada, where a friend of mine took me to go get a cream cheese and chive bagel with like a, what was it called? It was like an iced cappuccino type thing. But that was honestly the best combo ever. It was delicious. Just thought I'd let you guys know that. As it is a Sunday, Sav and I have just been lying in bed after our bagels with schmear. Sav has got me onto... Orange is the New Black, because there's a new season out, season 5. Any of you guys watched Orange is the New Black? Because I hadn't before season 5. I just told her, oh, you can watch it and I'll do something on the side. But I got into it because I didn't realize it was so funny. Very good show. Netflix is so great, actually. They just know how to make TV shows. We have come to Garden Center because there is my favorite German butcher here. It used to be called Wraith Gourmet. Now it's changed name to Hartleaf Deli. But apparently it used to be Hartleaf Deli before it was Wraith Gourmet. Back when I was just a young warthog. So we're gonna get some nice German sausage because we're making... Macaroons. We're not getting macaroons. We're getting some nice German sausage because what are we making tonight? Oh, what's that? Tonight we're making... Tonight we're making sausage with beans in like a tomatoey sauce. <laughs> so why are you stealing stuff? <laughs> My little criminal. Hey. <laughs> so here we are, but... It is closed to all our loyal customers. Oh, they're renovating. They've obviously just got to go bigger because there's so much sausage to be made. So this was our backup. Cape Town's ultimate German grocer. But they're not open on Sundays. God damn it. Okay, so the second part of our adventure out of the flat today was going to be us going to a, a place called the Mojo Market, which is in Seapoint. And they have like fresh produce and hopefully they have a little deli or something there where we can get some nice sausages. Otherwise, we'll just have to go for some store-bought porkies or something. This was the place that we came here for. 
beatbox, organic fruit and vegetables. Jeez, look at these onions. Damn. So this is the market from the outside. It's in the Mojo Hotel, which is why, oh, it's next to the Mojo Hotel. And then there's all the stalls along there and then the shops you go in there. So because the German butchers were closed, we found some substitute at Woolworths Bockwurst Sausage. We are back home. Shopping was a success. Um, we got everything we needed to make our little beans and sausage stew type thing tonight. Okay, we have come to the cooking segment of today's what did I call it? Hibernation Chronicles. We are making a bean and bockwurst casserole. Ingredients. You're going to need peppers, leeks, onions, potatoes, bay leaves, sage, chili, garlic, and then some tomato paste, diced tomatoes, bolotti beans, bockwurst sausage, and some paprika. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to put some garlic in, put some chili, and then we're going to chop up a red onion. Put the red onion in. And we're going to add leeks the potatoes, which are going to be cleaned because these are super organic and crusty. Then we're going to put in sage, bay leaves, some paprika. Okay, well then chop up your pepper. Look nice and colourful with the red onions in there. And then your tomatoes. Oh. Tomatoes and greens. Whoops. <laughs> and then a little bit of tomato paste. We just add a little bit of water to give it some more volume because the potatoes are going to be a while because they kind of have to cook through. So we're just going to let that sit for a bit and casserole up. And then we'll add the beans and the sausages. The potatoes are soft, so we're going to chuck in the, the vorsch. Okay, sausages in. We're going to chuck the beans in. Thanks to whoever sent that tip about punching holes in the bottom and then using it to drain, like a little strainer. That was really cool. So I used that and it worked. What beans do we have there? Barlotti beans. But you can also use cannellini or red kidney. We just chose barlotti because they go well with sausages. And then just stir it all up. And then I think we're going to chuck the lid back on and let it sit for a bit, eh? Mm -hmm. mm. It smells good. Wow. Okay, so we've left the beans and the sausages to sit for 10 minutes. And we are getting back to our show. And... Oh, it smells good. Stir it up. Dum -dum. Little darling. Oh, if you get the bay leaf, that's good luck. Thank you very much. Ooh -wee. Sausage and bean casserole. There you have it, guys. Easy peasy. Just finished dinner. It was amazing. Unfortunately, we didn't have any salt when we first um, started. What we did, because we didn't have any salt and needed a little bit of salt because of the tomatoes and whatever, we just added a cube of chicken stock. So we just added the chicken stock cube to the uh, to the whole mix and stirred it in and that sorted it out. So that's a good tip for you if you guys don't have any salt and you want to add some salty flavor to your meal chicken stock does also work. We are just having a cup of tea now and getting to bed and we are watching a movie, a rom-com, which I chose, called The Late Bloomer. It's about uh, some guy who only goes through puberty when he's like 30 or something, I think. I'll let you know how it is. Just finished watching, um, what was it? Late Bloomer. And, uh... What do you think, Sav? It was bad. <laughs> want some beautiful cream? No thanks. I'm already cute enough. <laughs> <laughs> Cabin fever. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Maybe. Probably.